gives an idea on the way here. Then I get it on a piece of paper, brushy, and then I just put it together to make my robot and just decorate with colors. This is my whirlpool that I made, and I did three ways to build this. I used first. I wanted to build it that the water would go to the cup and then come back up because the motor was leaking. Um, a teacher came over and told me to glue the um, two holes that were leaking from, and I fixed it. And this is my robot. Um, it's, a sail- it's a sailboat. And once I turn the switch, it can like change the speed of the motor. So now I'm done with the body and everything. And now I'm going to make a tree, but I'm adding um, this to um, make it hang on to the tree. Right now I'm working on a treadmill project, and I'm using different tools to like make it out of wood. And I can spin it in two different directions because I have a DPDT switch. So because of this special switch, it can go that way or that way. I'm going to build today a um, this like light ship that you hold with your hand. I just really like playing with toys, so I'm just gonna free make and just create whatever's in my head. My favorite thing is that you get to build robots and use your imagination. You have all the supplies. You have a gearbox, a motor, a battery pack. You don't have a project. In this class, I'm choosing my own project. And you're kind of like choosing your own like skill level. So I would recommend this class to people that like taking tools, taking tons of different resources, and just turning them into projects. At the Robot Foundry, there's also the touch where like you get to add electricity to them. So I would recommend it if you're interested in just building different things or if you're also just in general interested with like wiring different things up. I, I'm really advanced now and I can use as many parts as I want.